everyone welcome back to another make it monday video my name is kieran and my channel is called thrifted living thank you so much for joining me today i am going to be sharing with you a few more organizing and diy projects that i've been working on or ones that i've been wanting to work on if you saw my latest make it monday video i created this rotating ribbon organizer as one of the projects i also created this sticker organizer and I also made a utensil organizer. So that's one that I have down in the kitchen. A lot of people were giving me some great comments and feedback on the ribbon organizer. So what I'm going to be doing today is three different projects. One of them is actually going to be a different way to organize ribbons. Another one is going to be a way to organize stickers using these sponge holders. And the last one is going to be another DIY to be able to organize things kind of like a pegboard. So I have a lot of fun ideas that I wanna share with you today. The first one I wanna start with is this sponge holder organizer. Huge craft room uh, shelving unit that I got at the thrift store. So what I want to do is to be able to start using this space a little bit more in our craft room because it's empty now, but I feel like it's a lot of good open space to be able to organize things on. So let me show you what I'm thinking. So my goal is to take these sponge organizers and stick them to here to be able to hold stickers we will find out so we'll put one here now I'm, I'm wondering if it's like the right type of material i wonder if it will stay no because it's not like a i don't know like a like a slippery surface it doesn't really want to stick it'll only stick for a second i was hoping that the suction cups would work for this but i'm actually thinking command strips might be the better option so i will take the suction cups out i can definitely still use them because i'm i don't have to like cut them off for this like i did for the other organizer with the makeup brushes and then what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to take a command strip i think dollar tree sells something similar to a command strip and I'm just going to try to put one on each. I wonder how many I could fit. One, two. You know what? Let me actually, I have my, my some of my things right here. I, you know, I actually think two and two. Because you're going to need, want room for them. I can definitely use them for other things too. So there's the first one. Let me just get one. Oh yeah, that works. I'll let it sit for a couple minutes. And now I'm going to add two more over here. How would you guys use these sponge holders? I mean, you could definitely use it for sponges, but I think you could do other types of organization with them. So let me know what you guys would do. Try to line it up the best I can. I think I'm gonna let those sit for a couple minutes while they kind of dry. And I'm going to move on to the next part. Once these are more stable, I'm going to add a couple different sticker books to it. My planner stickers, the ones that I use most frequently right there. So let me grab the stuff for the next project. So while these are drying, I'm going to start the next project. I found some of these bath mats at Dollar Tree and I really like them. They are like a, like a silicone kind of material, a little stretchy, but not a lot. And what I plan on doing is actually putting them on the front of my cap my the cabinets right here and kind of using it like a pegboard where I can take if I need to I can take these S hooks that I also got at Dollar Tree. This is what the package looks like. I actually got them a few years ago and I just had them in storage. So I figured maybe I could use them. But I was thinking I could take the S hooks if I need to and attach some things to this. Or I could also use like pens or pencils that have like the hook to it on the back to also go here. It's just going to be like a cabinet organizer, but on the outside. And it's sort of like a pegboard. I'm first going to measure which one I want to start with for how long I want it to be. Perfect. Okay, so what I'm going to do is right here is where it like goes to the widest part. It goes all the way down to here and then it starts to go in again surprisingly that is the exact length of this cabinet of like the door to this cabinet so i'm going to start by cutting the top part of here off i'm going to start by taking my scissors and just taking that and cutting off the parts i don't need so i'm just going to go along the top and cut off the extra parts that i don't need because it is too long, the whole thing wouldn't fit 
on the cabinet itself. So this is the extra I cut off. So now we have a flat top to it. And I'm going to do the same with the bottom. Then I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to attach it to the cabinet door. I'm thinking command strips again. This is the more square rectangular piece. I have these ones right here that have a little bit of a hook to the front of it. If I put it right up against the cabinet, it will stick out a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe three for each. I'm going to take the command hook, let's see right here. So I'm thinking doing three would be better because otherwise I think it might sag in the middle. I'm going to take the command strip, the hook with the sticky on the back of it and put it like this. Yeah, I think I'm going to definitely need one in the middle. All right. So I hope, oh yeah, it actually feels pretty strong. Let's let that sit for a minute too while I do the other one. And then like when we're done with everything, then I will start sharing how I'm organizing everything. So I'm going to do one more project and it's going to be a ribbon organizer. I shared this ribbon organizer last week with you guys and I had some good comments. Um, people were saying like they liked it, they thought it was interesting, but some people said it's a lot of work for organizing not that many pieces of ribbon. So I have a different idea for how you can organize ribbon. This is the side of my desk that is to the right of where I sit and Right here, there's this blank space that I thought would be great to use to organize some ribbon. So I'm using the sponge holders again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these command hooks and I'm going to actually take them and attach them to the bottom right here. And then I will be able to take the wooden dowel and go like that. And what I can do up here on the top is maybe have scissors or a pen, like pencils or things like that. So that is what I am actually going to do now. So yeah, I think that should work. I'm going to take them and attach them. Perfect. Awesome, that's gonna work really well. And then what I'll do once it dries a little bit, I'll start displaying the ribbon on here. And then some more. Dowels right there. Yay! So I have the ribbon organizer, the sticker organizer, and then over there is kind of like the pegboard type thing. I'm going to let them all sit for a little bit and then I will start adding things to it to organize. So it's been several hours. I am ready to start displaying things and organizing things on these different organizers. So I'm going to first start with this one right here and I'm planning on using this for like pens and markers. So here are the organizers. I'm going to start by taking some sharpies that have this little like hook on them and that's what i'm going to start organizing i'm going to start with black on the top and i'm just going to hook them right into here like this ideally i would be able to take them and have them like point down but i don't know i don't think that would really stay some bright and colorful sharpies so i'm going to start by putting those on the second row. It looks so good. I really like how this is organized, able to see everything so nicely. So yay, I think it looks really cool. So here's the next space that I'm going to organize. I'm going to organize some planner stickers here. I could do like probably two, I'm thinking like this maybe. And then you could lean them forward, but I think it'd be better to lean it back. It was a super easy project to do. Now they're all organized right on the front of my desk. I would have liked to move them down a little bit, but I think it's okay from this height. I think you can still get to them easily. You don't have to worry about not being able to reach them. And that one was super easy. It only took like two minutes to set that one up. I really love it. So this is the last organizer I'm going to work on today. So I have this wooden dowel that I'm going to put ribbon on. And then I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to put in that. I have some red ribbon that I'm going to start with. My mother-in-law and her friend actually donated several things of ribbon to me. So thank you guys so much for it. Oh no. So some of them don't fit. They're too thick. I wonder if I could do like that. So it's not working out exactly the way I was hoping because these don't go out as far. 
But I mean, I still could hang something else here and then just put the ribbon like this. I was originally hoping to be able to put it here. There's that one. So now I will just have to do a few less because it's gonna have to go up and on here instead. And I can figure out something else to display from down there. And you know what actually I could put on here? I could put some scissors on there. So I'm just going to take the scissors and put them on this side. And then this over here. Here's a closer look at the ribbon organizer. It did not turn out the way I had wanted it to. Like I said, I originally I had wanted to be able to take the wooden dowel and have the ribbon displayed on these hooks. So the dowel would have been uh, connected to the hooks and then everything, I would have been able to have more ribbon displayed. Because the hooks weren't like long enough, I wasn't able to put the ribbon on the dowel and then have it be able to still be kept secure by the hooks. I ended up having to use the sponge part of it where you would actually like display the sponge if you were using it in a sink and put the wooden dowel there. I ended up just using the hooks to organize other things. So it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to, but I think I'm pretty happy with it. Thank you for joining me for another Make It Monday video. I had a lot of fun making these three projects. In the comments below, let me know how you guys would use these. Tell me how you would use those shower mats that I have the markers and pens organized on. I think they could be used in so many different ways and I would be curious to know how you would use them. Also, let me know how you would use the sponge organizers. Again, so many different uses for them and I really love that I have all of these materials close to me especially the pens and the pencils and the markers I had them organized in a separate location but I like that they're right in front of me now let me know what you guys would do if you tried these projects let me know how you would use them I would love to see what you guys come up with and if you tried one of these projects I would love to share with everybody how your projects turned out if you would like to share pictures with me at thrifted living on Facebook or you can share pictures with me at thrifted living YouTube on Instagram I would love to take the picture pictures of what you guys are making and share them in my videos so that I can show others different ways that these projects can be used. So feel free to share those pictures with me and I will hopefully be able to share them in my video. And if you're new to my channel and have not yet subscribed, please do. I love to share videos about Dollar Tree and DIY and crafting and thrifting. So if any of those topics sound interesting to you, please make sure that you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!